All right, I'm gonna do a quick video on how I do my ground beef. These are me doing quotation marks. So basically I get a cup of Baby Bella. They're already chopped up, I chopped them up. Let's go ahead and put that in the processor. Let me go grab my walnuts. All right, so I got my walnuts here. So I want y'all to see. So I'm gonna put about a cup. I'm gonna put about a cup of walnuts too. And these walnuts are already chopped as well. And this is gonna make, probably serve, depending on what you're making. If you're making just ground beef, ground beef, um, then this will make probably feed about three people depending on how big your servings are. And I'm gonna add some onions. This is half an onion, half a white onion. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of bell pepper. I'm not too, I'm not a big fan of bell pepper. So this is about um, one fourth of a bell pepper chopped. And go ahead and season it up while it's in here. Go ahead and take these caps off. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with one fourth uh, teaspoon, sorry, of ginger. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Spread it around. I'm going to do a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of oregano. And I'm gonna go ahead and do two teaspoons of onion powder. And I'm gonna do a teaspoon of this, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's annatto powder, whatever. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon of that. It comes in um, like hard little balls and I just grind them up myself and put it in one of my old sasom um, containers. So I'm actually gonna put two teaspoons of annatto powder. And let's say one fourth of dill. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of cilantro. And half a teaspoon of thyme. Okay, that got a little messy. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and secure the processor, close it. And we're gonna go ahead and pulse on low. And we're gonna pulse on low. I do is I'll go ahead and um, push it down. Let me get me a spoon here. Just gonna push it down, and I usually pulse it for about another 30 to 45 seconds just to make sure that all the walnuts are grinded up because I didn't pre-soak them. So we'll go ahead and put this back on and pulse for another 30 seconds. Okay, so now that we've made our mixture. What I do is just transfer it to a bowl, just so I can add a little bit more seasoning. As you can see, it already has the color, and it's gonna get brown once you cook it too. It's gonna get nice and brown. Okay. 
this is what our ground beef mixture is looking like. So, go ahead and mash it up. I'll probably add just a pinch of another, just more seasoning, just so it's... I wish I could prop my phone up so you guys can see it. And also, just season to your taste, because... When I first started um, Alkaline, I was looking at different recipes, and I wasn't liking how the result. And once I started doing my own thing and kind of just, um, you know, seasoning to taste like I normally should, then, you know, the reward was, the payoff was amazing. So, <sighs> we're finally here. So, go ahead and grease your pan with grapeseed oil. Turn your oven on to high heat, um, your stove to high heat, and just let it get hot. Let the oil heat up before you go ahead and add your mixture. I'm actually making chicken tenders, so I'm molding the meat with my hands. And it looks like, um, it looks like the grease is already heating up. So what I'm going to do is I molded the chicken tenders or you know walnut mushroom tenders and I'm just gonna place them in the pan and then once it's you know the heat is gonna combine it together so once one side is done cooking I'm gonna go ahead and flip them and do the same thing with the other one I know some people um, Cut the uh, portobello mushrooms, but some people don't like the texture of the actual mushrooms. So, sometimes it's easier just to find alternatives, but still, you can, you know, without using meat. So, and I'm going to show you guys what they look like in a second. So. And I'm going to eat these with my alkaline barbecue sauce. Let me, let me know if you guys are interested in that. Who said we can't make alkaline chicken tenders? Who said? 